Howdy folks and welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. In the first part of this video, we learned what a stop is and how it relates to exposure. So if you don't know what that means, go back and watch that first. We also learned how to use shutter speed to adjust our exposure by an arbitrary number of stops. But since stops are simply a measure of the relative brightness of your photos, they aren't limited to just shutter speed. Because of course we can also adjust our exposure with our aperture or our ISO. In these cases, the principle is exactly the same as before. Double the brightness of your photo and you've increased exposure by a stop. Half the brightness and you've reduced exposure by a stop. With ISO, this is easy and intuitive. Increase your ISO from 100 to 200 and you've made your camera twice as sensitive to light. Therefore, your photo will be twice as bright and voila, an increase of one stop. The same is true if you go from 400 to 800, 800 to 1600, or even the other direction to reduce exposure. For example, change your ISO from 400 to 200 and you've lost one stop. Aperture is a little more complicated thanks to our friend geometry. As you know, your aperture is a roughly circular opening in your lens, and the amount of light it lets in is proportional to the area of that opening. But since the area of a circle varies proportionally to its radius squared, when you change your f number by a factor of 2, you change the area of your aperture by a factor of 4. And when you let in 4 times as much or 4 times as little light, that's an exposure change of 2 stops. For example, let's say you're dialed into f8. If you double that to f16, well, you've changed the radius of your aperture by a factor of 2, but you've changed the area of your aperture and consequently the amount of light entering your camera by a factor of 4 because of this guy, which means that you've changed your exposure by two full stops. The other thing you have to keep in mind with aperture is that as your f number gets bigger, your actual aperture gets smaller. So when you change from f8 to f16, you've actually made your photo darker by those two stops. I know it's a bit confusing, but if you don't want to do this math, I've got an easier trick for you. Most cameras are set up by default so that if you click the dial three times, it changes your exposure by one stop. And that's whether you're talking about shutter speed, ISO, or aperture. Let's go back to that f8. Say you wanted to decrease your exposure by a stop, well, all you'd have to do to make that happen is click your aperture dial three times, which incidentally puts us at f11. Another stop would be another three clicks, and boom, there we are at f16. So now we know what a stop is, and how to use our shutter speed, aperture, and ISO to change our exposure by as many stops as we want. We've also seen that no matter which setting we're adjusting, one stop always represents the exact same change to our exposure. And in the final video in this series, we'll learn why that is such a cool thing when it comes to making creative choices for our photography. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. You can also join our newsletter for heaps more photo tips. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.